So if you're curious what new world business building even means, please listen. Listen up, listen till the end. We're, I'm going to go through it all. I've got about 10 commonalities, 10 things that I tend to see in the most successful businesses currently right now. And some of these businesses have been around for 20 years. Some of these businesses have not even been around for 20 months. This isn't about time any longer. This isn't about success in terms of monetary or sales. A lot of the old metrics that we used to decide, well, this is a good business or this is a great business, they kind of don't apply anymore. And those are the kinds of things that I want to explore. But ultimately, and as per always, I want you to figure out what success means to you. I want you to define business for yourself. I've just got ideas here. You know everything. With that, I mean, I don't have to say things are changing quicker than ever now, it seems. We're being exposed to more. We're being asked to do more. We're being asked to show up and participate in and be real and have work-life balance and be healthy and be woke. And it, it's overwhelming on the best of days. Between AI and digital currencies and social media becoming the home shopping network, business does not look like our mom or dads or caretakers or friends or whatever we grew up with, right? How do you build a structure if the ground keeps shifting or the builders keep lifting? Another wild evolutionary reality. I think most of my people who are leaders and founders and CEOs and creatives and visionaries and dream builders, <laughs> they can't keep the same people around them to save their lives. And old world business would have perceived that as a fault. We're doing something wrong. If there's something wrong with them, there's something wrong with us. People don't have careers anymore. They have contracts. Leaders don't go from good to great. They have three-year profit and loss statements they need to deliver on to private equity firms. College degrees, office space, even work-life balance seem completely make-believe, probably more fantasy-like than your actual dreams in this business building. So again, like how the hell do you build this business when it seems like everybody is becoming an entrepreneur whilst also trying to juggle a traditional job in a crumbling corporate situation. <laughs> so I asked thousands of people across my audiences, and this includes clients of mine, this includes friends and family. I mean, if you haven't figured it out, pretty much everybody in my experience is, is grappling with this definition of what is business now and today. And whether they work in a business, they own a business, or they are building a business, the, the one answer that came back was it's taking things seriously. First and foremost, partnership versus competition. I'm going to get into all of these. I'm just going to go through the list really quickly. So this is what I've noticed, the biggest differences, right? So new world business are obsessed with building partnerships. Old world business is obsessed with competition. New world business, quality. Old world business, quantity. New world business, loyalty. Old, leading stats. Intuition versus data. New world business is making decisions based on intuition, a feeling, a gut instinct, right? Experience plus wisdom. Old world business is, is again using data. New world business is filtering. Old world business is focusing. New world business builds trust. Old world business is obsessed with popularity. New world business finds fragments. Old world business is interested in mass appeal. New is experimenting. Old is strategic. New is pivoting. And, and I don't mean like you go from being a restaurant to making masks or <laughs> you go from being a digital marketing agency creative director to a residential real estate agent to a influencer home organizer. Although if those are all of your jam, you're awesome. We should be friends. I mean, pivoting in terms of like adapting your pricing, exploring a new customer base, getting into services or verticals that excite you. Last but not least, new world business is sustainable. Old world business is sacrificial. So when you're trying to figure out how to build this business, take it more seriously, reevaluate your success metrics and scale to that next level, 
you're going to need to ask who with, right? And it's people that are going to share these interests are going to be curious about these opportunities. Because again, like this isn't happening across the board, right? Nor is someone embodying or leading or building an organization that has all 10 of these qualities. Some of them are going to be so much more relevant, but it's by really understanding what it is that inspires and challenges and excites you that you can like really, I think, kind of start playing with some of these paradigms. So this is also what's going to make you different. This is going to be why somebody buys from you, talks about you, refers people to you, wants to work for you, or potentially quits all of those activities because they don't fit into your matrix anymore, right? So use filters to check yourself. Set parameters you can play in. Get messy. That's where creative chaos can thrive when it knows I have a safe space to get fucking weird. That is new world business building. 